we're gonna be working on today is our ink event. In case you don't know what ink event is, I don't know how other states work, but with Minnesota, building code is that you have to have a radon mitigation system. So apparently there's this gas called radon, killed millions of people. So now there's a huge industry around this. Typically how I think people in this area generally do their radon is what they do is they put in like this pea gravel and that allows pockets of air to flow through the rock so that the radon mitigation system, the, the pipe that comes out of the floor that has like this constant slight vacuum to it will suck any of the gases through all that rock and out the vent so that it doesn't find a crack in the floor or something and that radon comes up and kills your whole family. My building inspector, Andy, put me onto this ink event. And what it is, is it's a product that you just roll out. It's about 18 inches wide. Um, we ordered 300 feet of it. The cost was a thousand bucks on it. I didn't think that was, I don't know. I thought that was a lot better than spending the money on the rock, which, however much that is, it's probably cheaper for rock. But when you figure in all the labor to have someone come in with a backhoe, and sprinkle all that rock in and not mess up your pipes that you've got coming in for your rough in for your electrical and your plumbing. We got this from Global Plastic Sheeting. We'll put the link in in the description below so that um, you can take a look at uh, what they've got. They've got tons and tons of products for construction and everything else for covering countertops, covering mirrors to vapor barrier to, I mean, you name it. it uh, these, this place has all these cool products for for building and making things easier. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick peek here, show you what this stuff looks like. So here's a close-up of the ink event. It's kind of got this, oh, I don't know, it's probably around a half inch thick, it looks like. Um, and then it's got this, basically a plastic fiber tangled mess here. Uh, this basically allows for all that radon gases and whatever to flow through there and get to that stack pipe. Um, but if you want a close-up look, that's what it looks like. show you what uh, the next step is with this ink event. We've got our insulated concrete form here and we came into a kind of a conundrum. I don't know, hopefully that's not a bad word or something from way back when. So what we've got here is we've got our ICF, our insulated concrete form. There's beams running through the concrete one, two, three beams running through the concrete through the center of the house for the structural part of it. That ink event goes up to it, obviously can't go across that because it's going to be filled with concrete. I don't know what the technical way to do this is. I should probably look into it. We, whether I was going to do radon rock or, you know, just doing the rock that I was explaining, or I was going to do it this way. Um, either way, I had to come up with a way to bridge those gaps because otherwise I have pockets in the house where they can't breathe and the, the gases can't flow if there ever gets any gases in there. So what I came up with was taking, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bridge that so that it lays on top of the ink event on each side of the insulated form. Um, there's gonna be, I'm gonna do four tubes. Um, I figured that would be plenty enough if not overkill to vent that properly. See if it passes inspection that way, I'm sure it will. We're gonna have more than enough flow as you can see. Um, I, I think we're gonna have, have success doing it this way because it's the only way I know how to do it. I don't know if you remember, if you're old enough, but they had these knives back when I was a kid. I remember they were like supposedly the greatest knife in the world. They bent and they never went dull. The commercial showed when they would cut a, a hammer and then cut a tomato. Um, but I don't know where I got this, but you're not a true do-it-yourselfer unless you have one of these knives. So if, if you don't have one of these knives, you better get one. I'm using it for this and it seems to be working perfect for cutting through the styrofoam. So 
And we're gonna lay these across here like so. So that's the trick, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it's gonna go. Today we are getting on with our extruded foam. We're gonna start installing that. We got all of our ink event installed uh, and, all, and our vapor barrier in. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Esther at Global Plastic Sheeting. Esther, you rock. Uh, we had a little mix up with the shipping and she got that all handled for us and got this up to Minnesota for us in what seemed to be no time. Um, but as far as uh, a product to work with, I don't know why anyone would do anything different than use this ink event. It's, it's not that expensive. It's easy to use. It goes in quick um, and it gives you um, it gives you that radon mitigation system that uh, that you need to build a house here in Minnesota And I'm guessing a lot of other places Yeah, super impressed with the ink event and looking forward to Getting this floor poured. It just seems like we've been Stuck at this point of the build for what seems ever so I'll Give you a time lapse of putting the sheeting down Mind you, it's like 95 out here. Hey, Hefner, how's it going? I think this is uh, the reason why I have such back problems at my age is because we had a go-kart with no suspension when we were kids. Looks like another round of rain is coming. Well, rain came in when Ian went to get some more insulation. He's got these pools of water now. You give me a wave, kids. Are you in your underwear too? Well, that's one way to stay entertained. You have the slide on there. Hey, have Logan try that out first. Bigger kid goes first. They're sliding from the roof of the house. They just all of a sudden were on there. I was like, uh, okay. I don't even know how they get up there. Hey, guys, let's not do it again. Yeah. thoughts after the rain. This water can't be under here. How much do these things cost? Is this foam? Yeah. I don't know, probably around three thousand dollars. Shut up. I wouldn't have thought foam would cost so much. Holy bucket. So I'm on a mission to get this insulation done so that it's ready for the heating guy to put in the pecs in the floor for the in-floor heat. And I was up at the supply store getting the insulation that I didn't have. This is what I come back to. Water sitting in everything. And I don't know if that's a big deal or how I'm gonna get it out of there. If that's gonna matter for when I pour concrete or not, where all that's gonna, where all that water's gonna squeeze out and go to because it's sitting on top of the vapor barrier, so I don't see it. I mean, it's not gonna go down through it. It's gonna either have to dry out or, yeah, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, so. So what I get to do is instead of finishing this tonight, um, I'm gonna start playing cleanup and try and get stuff figured out with the heating guy. 
Tomorrow's supposed to be like a hundred and because of the rain probably humid as all get out so um, so game plan is gonna be to wake up early and try and tackle this in the morning and finish it up um, so we'll see what happens see you tomorrow the humidity sucks all the heating guys are getting a million calls for air conditioning problems whether he has time to get out here yet this week or not I don't know Hope he does. Well, the cool down starts on Friday, so I hear it's supposed to be 81. Woo! <laughs> now, how hot has been this last week and weekend is just like, you know, quite the cool down. And right in here, when you once you put in the piping for the heated floors, then they go and lay the concrete down and then they pour the concrete in these. The concrete gets filled, all of this whole thing gets filled, and then it on top of there. So. Our slab, our entire slab is five inches thick. Sides are two foot tall by a foot wide. But we have got everything ready to go finally. 